Good morning everybody and happy Tuesday. So today we are going to recap four new signs, not new signs, but newer signs than last week. So they're four digraphs. We've got ch, sh, th and th. Now we are going to talk about why this one is in bold in a minute, but we are going to be thinking about recognising them, reading them in words and writing them in words. So Rex says hello again. If you haven't already, you do need to go through the video called Are You Ready? or the PowerPoint and make sure that you're only saying the pure sound. So we're not saying G, we're saying G. We're not saying B, we're saying B. I know that's hard because we're all from Birmingham, but we have to make sure that we sound it out properly. Otherwise, when we come to reading, we're not going to be able to blend the word that we need to read properly because it won't sound correct. OK, so... Let's have a look. This week we are practicing some signs that we've already learnt before. So we've got ch, sh, and th. Now, these two, they look the same, but they do make two different sounds. So you've got th, which is the short sound, and you've got th, which is the long sound, and that's why this one is in bold. OK, you will be able to hear the difference in the words. Now, if you don't know whether when you're sounding out a word, whether it is th or th, you can try both and see which one sounds better. OK, so can you spot the sound in this word? We're not going to read these words yet. I just want you to spot the sound. What sound do you think we're looking at in this word? I'll give you a clue. It's highlighted in red. Yes, well done. It is ch. Good job. OK, what about the sound in this word? Yep, yeah, super, it's sh. The sound in this word is th. And the sound in this word is th. Well done. OK, this time we are going to read some words. So I'm going to give you some time to read them using your Rex robot arms. And then I will read them and you can see whether you've got them right. OK. Off you go. Okay, my turn. Ch, ick, chick, chick. Your turn. And my turn. Sh, ip, ship. Ship. Your turn. And my turn. But at bath. Bath. Your turn. And my turn. V -e -m. Them. Them. Good job, everybody. Now, we are going to sort these words by their sounds. So, you've got four columns. We've got ch, sh, th, and v. And we're going to blend the, sound, the sounds in the words. And I want to see whether you can choose which column they're going to go into. Okay, ready? Let's go. Chick. Which column do you think chick is going to go into? Is it ch, sh, th, or v? Point, point to the column that you think it's going to go into. Okay, let's see if you're right. Super job, well done. It goes in the ch column because it begins with ch. Well done. Next one, ready to blend? V, e, m, them. Which column do you think them is going to go into? Okay, let's see if you're right. Super job, well done. Right, the next one, let's get ready to blend. But, ah, bath, bath. Which column do you think bath is going to go into? Uh, which column do you think the word bath is going to go into? Okay, let's see if you're right. 
Super job. Well done. What about this one? Ready? Sh it ship. Which column do you think ship is going to go into? And let's see if you're right. Good job. Well done. Right then. Next one. Ready? V -e -n. Then. Which column do you think then is going to go into? Let's see if you're right. Good job. Okay, next one. Ready? Ch -op. Chop. Which column do you think chop is going to go into? Okay, let's see if you're right. Super job. Well done. Two more to go. Ready? Sh -e -l. Shell. Which column do you think shell is going to go into? Okay, let's see if you're right. And the last one. M -a moth. Which column do you think moth is going to go into? It's a bit obvious this one, isn't it? Okay, of course it goes in the th column. Well done. So we've got chick, chop. Both have the ch sound. We've got ship and shell. They both have the sh sound. We've got bath and moth. They both have the th sound. And we've got them and then. And they both have the th sound. Good job, everybody. Well done. What fabulous reading. Now, I wonder whether you can tell me what sound that we've been recapping do you think this word has? Does it have ch? Does it have sh? Does it have f? Or does it have v? Let's sound it out, shall we? Ready? Sh, op, shop, shop, shop has the sh sound. Good job. What about this one? Does it have ch? Does it have sh? Does it have th? Or does it have th? Which one do you think? Let's sound it out. Th, i, s, this. This has the th sound. Good job, everybody. You are great, and I will see you tomorrow.